Hey, it's Seb from Skitsaus again. And in this video, we're going to look at ghost notes in FL Studio, also sometimes called ghost channels. What are they? How do they work? And why do you want to use them? Now, I already prepared a little snippet here. And with this snippet, we're going to explore the ghost notes. So let's quickly jump into this lesson. Now, normally you just draw some notes or you play a chord progression with an instrument. In this case, I already done that with the FL keys. Like this is the FL keys, this is the instrument we're using. And as you can see, when I click on the piano roll, I already drew a chord progression here. Now let me play this quick. That sounds nice. Now, ghost notes come in when we also include other channels. So, by including other channels, in this case a lead, we can we can open that the piano roll that is and make a melody with the lead. But to get guidance, we like to enable the ghost notes, and we enable ghost notes by clicking on this arrow up here then go to helpers then ghost channels click it and there you have it these are ghost notes and these ghost, no ghost notes are meant to give visual clues about all the other instruments that play certain notes so we can look at it and match our musical pieces so that they flow together so, in this case, I already prepared a melody. Let me copy that quickly and paste that here so you can see it. Let me zoom that out a little bit. Now, as you can see, let's start at the bottom here. Like the green notes are the, is the current melody with the lead sound. And the gray notes is the chord progression with the piano sound. So when we look at the bottom of this melody, like the carry is the lower layer, you can see it plays a G note here, G, 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 G. Then it goes to uh, A sharp, and then it goes to D sharp. Now, when we look at the gray notes here, we see that pattern again, G, 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 G. Then A sharp, like here and D sharp over here so what we can do is like we use these goat note, ghost notes as a guidance for our melody we already know where to put the lower layer now furthermore we can also use in this case the chord progression to build our melody upon it so when we look over here at the first beat we see a, a sharp. The A sharp is exactly on top of the A sharp in the chord progression. So we know it starts from the right point. So at each chord change, we always want to pick the first note that corresponds the chord progression, the, the corresponding chord. So here we start with a note that's either this one, this one, or this one. So we know it starts at the right point. What comes after? It's less relevant in terms of is it part of this chord, yes or no. That's that's not the point. The point is the starting point, literally. So you can you can see that same pattern over here also. Like at this point, the chord changes. You can see that clearly here. Look at the gray notes compared to this. It changes. So now we have to start here with a note that is part of this chord. In this case, we have the F. And as you can see here, that's also an F. So this is correct, this is good, it starts at the right position. Now, at the final chord change, you can see that over here, it's already clear that this note, uh, A sharp, is already on top of the gray chord progression. It's already part of the chord. So it also starts at the right position. So that's good, that's what we want. That's how we build the melody. Now, and as we play this, let me play this for you. Hold on one second. Let's do it like this. And then I'll open up the filter a little bit. It sounds like this. Now 
Now this is just a simple short melody that fits on top of the chord progression. But by enabling these ghost notes, you can mix and match every, every chord, every note, every instrument you want uh, to get a coherent piece. So that's the big benefit of ghost notes or ghost channels. If you didn't know about it, now you know about it. I invite you to use it. Um, there's still one more trick you may want to find interesting is let's let's open it again and when you go over here the, the piano roll menu just click that downward pointing arrow then go to helpers and then enable the editable ghosts what that does is it gives you the possibility to use the gray notes to click them and to change them so you can work so so let's say like this you can work from your lead or whatever sound you're using and change the notes of a different instrument in this case the piano so i can click it and i can change it without me having to go to a different piano roll, like this one, where I can change them also. So that's an extra feature that you might find handy. Now, if you like these types of videos, leave a comment down below, let me know what you want to see next. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell also, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!